Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hora Drak and we are playing Stellaris on Insane Difficulty as the Great Old Ones. Welcome back um, to the series. In the last episode we finally got our battleships. And I think today it's time to um, design a battleship. So that's what we're going to do right now. It's always fun doing a new ship design. We got one that has been automatically been done. I don't want that. I am going to do this one. Um, oh yeah, we need a design name. It's going to be as a Toth. I think that's that's the right one. I might have to look it up between episodes again. Um, now, what do we want to put on this thing? I think we should go with two large weapon slots. Now for the midsection we could go with a hanger, which might be a good idea. Put a hanger on there and some, some point defense things. But we don't really have good strike craft at the moment. All we have is scout ships. So, but I'm just going to show you how this looks. So if you go on this one you can put a scout wing on there. So, we get a strike craft for that. I'm not, oh yeah, four, four strike craft. In that hangar, so we could put eight eight strike craft on this on this thing. I'm not going to do that because um, yeah, we don't really have the strike craft at the moment. I'm going to go with the singularity core, which gives me more big things. And then I think I'm going to go with uh, one that gives me some small weapons. Uh, reason being is that the small weapons have high accuracy. If you look at this, this has 82, 80, 75. 75, 80, 82, and so on. Doesn't really affect missiles because they're always 100% accuracy. But for the smaller ones, we might be better off with these. As we don't have point defense, I'm gonna use the, the lasers as point defense. They can act a bit like that, I guess. Then we're gonna have two disruptors in the front to take down the shields. And then some plasma cannons. Maybe one big laser. That might not hurt. Yeah, that, lo that looks like a good design to me. And then we want these guys to be... I mean, they're already kind of, kind of heavy. Um, could go for a more aggressive stance. So that they fire faster and do more damage. Sounds good. And we wanna <clears throat> wanna pump this thing full with reactors. Like that. And we want also a good amount of deflectors on it. Oh wait. I'm gonna do something like that. And I think we're gonna fill the rest with armor. I mean, 700 shields, it's not great. Could go with another of these. Maybe do something like that. I think that will do fine. As a toth. All right then. Yeah, I, I do like this design. It looks uh, pretty intimidating. Um, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a shame that all of them look the same. I mean, we're all energy based on this, right? All our weapons are energy, but different kinds of energy. Taking down armor, taking down shields, uh, doing more armor penetration and lots more damage than the others. So I think that's fine. Um, we get the high accuracy from these guys as well. Okay, so that's our battleship. I like it. Now we're going to build some of these buggers, because we need a nice flagship, that's for certain. Every fleet needs a nice flagship. Um, they're very expensive. Actually, I would have liked to build something that that helps us there, but we haven't really researched enough stuff. So, oh yeah, 1732. <laughs> Do we have any edicts that can help us with bringing that down? I don't think so. I don't think we have the Grand Fleet just yet. 
Mm, could try to go for another colony governor though. I mean, slave mineral and slave food output. Yeah, I guess it's it is helping to keep this world in balance. Yeah, not really, not really. I could I could send this governor to Riblaga over here. And then we could take one for here. There are governors that reduce ship costs. Building time, construction time. I mean, that is also pretty good. The increased um, output. I think we might use you for Schlurk. Or even for Megrotosh. Megrotosh already has someone. Oh, we're starving here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh yeah, because you are still waiting to, to get there. We're gonna change you around. Now, what is it I wanted to do? Yeah, I wanted to hire a governor for this place. How is our output? What does Schlurk put out? Seven, five, six. This place puts out nine, eleven, nine. So we're gonna put. We're gonna put this guy in charge of that planet. Okay, we still can uh, recruit two leaders. What have you? Building costs, construction time, food, and hydroponics costs. I mean. Could use this guy to reduce the construction cost on one of our planets. But Kangi still needs some buildings done. Not that many, but oh well. Riblaga is definitely good now. Putting out a lot of uh, minerals. You can see that this, this single guy over here does 17 minerals due to that autonomous fabricator. You're moving away. Well, fag off then. I should, I think I should put more um, slaves on this planet just to just use the, um, the fact that we have this, this governor maximize uh, what we can get out of it. That is a social tile. I'm gonna upgrade that to a bio lab. Still no governor that reduces my ship build cost, but there are governors that can do that. Um, food. This guy is just eager. I don't think that it is really worth to get that one. You don't have a governor. You also don't have one. Hmm, but you do have that food guy over here. Well, let's let's take you. Let's see who else we can recruit. Two eager guys. Hmm. Gonna take you. Hmm. Clear blocker cost. That is pretty good. You can. Well, you're already here. Might as well use you. Okay, so Bakengi, you are going to get this guy. Shuglam, you're a really experienced guy. Give you some food. Hmm. Gonna grow pretty fast and we can act, we can definitely use that, right? 2.1 per month, that's a really good growth. Um, then Schler, you already have the research guy, don't you? No? Moving to Magrotosh, moving to Riblaga. I'm gonna give you that guy then. Over here. Okay then. Well, then we, we're gonna use that governor for our home system, which seems kinda dumb. Right?
But I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I mean, later we want to we want to give our sectors some governance. But for now it's okay. Well, I, I won't be able to bring down the cost for our battleships at the moment. I can later, um, after we research it, I can build battleship assembly yards, which I want to do in here. That's definitely something I want to do. Um, but for now, I think we just have to pay the price. <laughs> At least we get some reduced upkeep. Get 10% reduced upkeep. That's pretty good. Hmm, we're not that far away from improved research. I like it. It's pretty good. We need more research. Oh, we lost some. Maybe from me shuffling around the sector governors. That might definitely be it. Okay, so now we should be able to build our first battleship. Yes, the Azatoth. Okay, we got that Nautilus squadron down here. Let's merge them. Join that fleet. So we got 34 corvettes. I think we could go with a couple more corvettes. Um, destroyers, we are good. Cruisers, we are good. Just want some more battleships. The good thing about the battleships is that they will continue firing until they are down with full power. So you don't really have to worry um, about them That's getting taken out. Complete. They will stand the longest and deliver damage until they are down. Okay, where are you? You're in Dathana down there. Okay, can we do anything with you? Nearly all our things have been built, all our stations. I think we have to move on to the planets then. Yeah, nothing more to do. Well, there's one engineering research, but we're gonna settle that planet. Oh, there's some more in here. Okay then. And then we're gonna start settling more planets to get more resources. Now let's have a look on the surfaces. We researched a new bio lab, which should allow us to upgrade that to another bio lab. That thing uh, doesn't really have uh, an underlying tile, so we're going to upgrade it to a physics lab because we're really weak on physics. You're going to be another bio lab <clears throat> and another bio lab. Okay, we're done with the assisted research. We could get better physics labs, and I think this is what we should do. I mean, I would like the X-ray laser. These are really good. And I would also like the better shields. But I definitely think that we need to go with the better with the better labs. So far behind on research that it kind of pains me. So you're done in a cellar. That's good. I might go ahead and research some or build some defense stations around my planets as soon as that is done. For now, just come into orbit around Relaye. That's fine. Our research speed is, is being boosted because we're spending some, some influence on, on policies. Yeah, I, I do think I should I should move more people to to Riblaga. You're moving. Well, you may just move away. It's fine. Well, this as a physics thing that is for certain. I'm gonna take. I'm, I'm gonna make use of the um, of the research tiles, but. That, for example, is definitely going to become a mining network. That is going to become a mining network. This mining network. Mining network. Empire of Adenair declared war on Imari Syndicate. Oh, that's interesting. 
Nah, don't think your chances are particularly high. I might not be able to survive that long. Um. Hmm. Build cost guy might have helped us here, but on the other hand, juggling them around, it's not really worth it. Yeah, mineral processing plant might actually be a good idea. Or do we have that already? Don't think so. So we're going to go with the mineral processing plant on this tile. Um, more mining networks. More mining networks. Oh yeah, monumental purity. We might want that. Although they're mostly going to be um, slaves on the planet. Well, we're going to put it on that mountain range. That's fine. And Schlurk. Should we just ignore these minerals? I mean, we're getting getting lots of minerals from other planets. I'm gonna leave them for later. What is on that tile? Okay, so we're gonna go with a bio lab on you. That's, oh yeah, there's some bio on this one as well. So I'll go with a bio lab on that one. Nothing on here. Still building our first battleship. Aren't you in orbit? Move to the orbit of that Research thing. Complete. Okay, deep space stations. Very good. What do we get? Oh, better mining networks. That might help us. That might also help us. Military station. I mean, I would like anti-matter missiles as well. We're pretty far behind on that tech. And they're not as good as torpedoes, right? I think we're gonna go for more mining. I mean, having having better energy labs would be good. I definitely would want that. Shall we queue up another battleship? Oh, why not? I do have the minerals for it. So I might as well do it. But I also need to start building more more colony ships. We got a lot of planets that we haven't settled yet. And if we if we continue building them up, we might be ahead of the curve, I guess. Why are you not in orbit? Enter orbit. That is what I want. Yeah, alright. You're also done. Enter orbit. Hooray, so we've got our one battleship. I think it's down here, CTH Taglosh. Very nice. That. Uh, how much does that ship alone have? 910 uh, firepower. So one ship is nearly a thousand power. That's pretty cool. Building another one. We're still nowhere near our naval capacity, and we really need to get there. Now I've got some inactive buildings on this one. Want to upgrade that power plant? Upgrade that power plant. Why? Why are you working that one? Come down here. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna build another power plant down here. We're we're using this um, percentage uh, building. So the more um, power buildings we stack on this planet, the better. We're making 27.5 food. So we actually are going to, to put another power plant on this one. And on this one as well. And the good thing is the power plants don't cost any upkeep. So you can build them way in advance was not as clever that I built up all of Riblaga, but on the other hand, it's gonna take a long while until all of this stuff is built. So we might as well go ahead and build that stuff. And then 
when all this stuff is built, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull a lot of our of our slaves from from uh, this sector. There's still some of them down here. Yeah, this planet is kind of wasted. Hmm. Maybe I should allow the policies. Uh, in the policies, the um, procreation of slaves will never be able to fill that planet otherwise because we can't settle arid planets, which is kind of shitty. Gonna queue up another battleship. Mm, still have some more minerals. I might go ahead and. Build a colony ship here in Megatosh. We need to settle. We definitely want to keep to our to our normal um, to our normal ethics here. Construction complete. It will definitely hurt me to get rid of Sirius, or of, uh, hurt me to get rid of Megatosh. I really like that planet, but it is basically developed. I can't really do much for that planet anymore. What has been done? Megrotosh has built something. What did you build? Oh yeah, you have this. I'm gonna change you around. I don't need the minerals that desperately, so it's fine. How are our sectors doing? You could use some minerals. You could use some minerals. You could use some minerals. Yeah, they are all in the plus now. Looking good. The eastern border sector is at zero for the energy. Let's do something like that. Now oh, they are they are using the minerals that I give them right away. That's fine. That's fine. I think we're developing rather nicely. Um, I might have to destroy one of my construction ships. Might be might be too many construction ships. I do think how is how is our relation with these guys? They're patronizing. Views us as errant children in need of their guidance, um, which means that I kind of feel safe enough to colonize that system down here and get rid of that frontier outpost. It's costing me influence, and I'd rather be rid of that. Research complete. Galactic administration, very cool. So now we can build the Empire Gal Cap uh, Capital Complex. That increases our adjacency effect by a large margin. And we can do advanced government forms. Ooh, better bio labs. But I do think that we need to remove the glaciers and also the mountain ranges. And that, this is going to take forever. So we're going to go with that. Release those mountains from Riblaga. Three mountains on there. Four glaciers on here. Well, I should have I should have taken the glaciers. I still could. I still could. Yeah. No, we're gonna go with the mountains because then I can put all my slaves on on the blagger. You're also moving away to Bukangi. Alien slavery, neighbors, solitary. People aren't very happy on this planet. I know it's partly my fault, but <laughs> it's kind of difficult to roleplay the the great old old ones in all their evilness when my pops are such whiny, whiny little bastards. But oh well. I am at my sector limit. Yeah, you guys are using your minerals pretty fast, you too. That makes me happy if they are using that immediately. Like, you know, they, they got some building projects that they gotta do. 
So they're using that. Construction complete. Clearing tiles, building buildings, I like it. We've got one tech over here in the eastern heartlands. Maybe this should be a research sector as well. I don't need that many minerals. Okay, we've got the kingdom of Junta Juntatika. Interesting. I'm, I'm gonna make the eastern border sector into a research sector. Uh, that is the one with the Gaia world. So I should be able to swing something because people are very happy on the Gaia worlds. Um, yeah, let's see what these guys are like. Greetings from the kingdom of Chantatika Lucana. We are a peaceful nation, justly ruled by our beloved High Queen Deadneck One, or Deadneck the First. Whatever grievances might arise between our people in the future, we hope they can be settled through dialogue rather than violence. I don't think so. I don't think so. Violence is good. We like violence, right? Hey, but Kang is already putting out 50 energy credits. That's kind of insane. Um, the Jogwala Empire. Ooh, you look creepy as hell. These are the eyes, the tentacles. I mean, they have tentacles, so I approve, but speak on behalf of the Jogwala. Golwa Empire have been authorized to bring you greetings as long as you stay out of our internal affairs. Okay. Where are these guys? So that's that's the guys with a funny name. Where are the other ones? Where are the tent tentacle face guys? Hmm. I'm not quite sure where they are. Oh well. I mean, we are better off than most empires. We have um, gotten a pretty large swath of land. Could could definitely be worse. Let's go and colonize that planet now. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this one. It's gonna give uh, four tiles and adjacency bonuses and it will not suppress the natural production of this place. So that's kind of good. And then I guess I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do hope you join me next time for more battleship building, more um, infrastructure building, and for more preparing to war. Oh yeah, before I forget. What is that? That is my planetary capital. I think we're gonna bring this up to an empire capital complex. Because that will give us more influence. I'm just gonna do this now before I forget. But now, thanks, I hope I see you next time. Bye bye.